Hey everyone, Jonathan Blackwood here on behalf of HD Base T. We are streaming live from ISE 2020 at the HD Base T booth, and we're very lucky to be joined by Josh Steen of Crestron. Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jonathan. Glad to be here today. Well, it's great to have you. I know that Crestron has had a long relationship with HD Base T, and HD Base T is utilizing a lot of your products. Could you tell us about that relationship and, and what it's meant for you guys? Absolutely. HDB, a, HD Base T has really been pivotal to a lot of our video technologies. We've been in there since the very beginning. Um, from our matrix switchers, we got uh, card frames from 8x8 to 32x32, all utilize this technology. We have presentation switchers, which are kind of all in one encompassing from control systems to audio amplification, switching, mixing, and of course the ability to take in HD base T signals from transmitters and out to receivers and displays. Um, really a wide array of products, and we continue to invest in uh, products that are surrounding around HD base T. We have new 4K transmitters. Uh, we actually even have some new switching products that we are showing here at ISC in our future innovation area um, that are things that are really investments for the future that uh, people can come in and see how we're going to use HD base T and some new presentation switchers. Uh, we even have a, a, a product that we're introducing and announcing here at ISC that actually bridges between HD base T and our DMNVX AV over IP solutions. So now for a, a dealer or consultant, a designer, they can utilize any of our HD base T resources and use those transmitters and take them into the AV over IP realm or do mixed systems from you know, pre presentation switchers and then do IPTV across the network. So the, 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 it's really a wide array of products that, uh, that serve all sorts of different applications. A lot of your products utilize HD base T and a lot of your products utilize AV over IP. And Crestron sees it, and as most of the industry should, as not two competing standards, but the right application for the right project. Could you speak about that? Absolutely. Well, AV over IP is very popular uh, today. It, it provides a lot of uh, uh, benefits. Um, there's still a lot of systems that really make more sense in that HDBST realm. For instance, we talked about presentation switchers and having that all-in-one uh, type of solution. You're talking about situations where maybe they're even a little more closed down, they're not, they're not on the network application, or they're segmented networks. It, it really makes sense to have both solutions, and we continue to invest in both solutions so we can provide the right application, as you said, for the, or the right product for the right application. Which is ultimately what integrators are looking for, and I, I think from the end user side, one thing that, it, you know, it's becoming a lot more of the IT department than integrators are talking to, at least on the commercial side. And I know that something that Crestron is trying to do is bring that way of IT thinking and control into AV products, not so that we're cannibalizing the AV side of things, but just so that we can better control it and our customers better understand how it's controlled. Is that an accurate statement to say Crestron is investing in this? That's absolutely accurate. I mean, we, we, we really brought an Ethernet port to much of the industry when we added it to a control system back in early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, and so we continue to invest into uh, IT technologies and platforms, um, and that, it, that comes in multiple different capacities. Obviously, security is huge. It's, it's huge for our dealers, it's huge for our customers. Uh, so we invest in the best enterprise grade standards based uh, standards-based security uh, out there available today. We also uh, invest in cloud-based deployment management uh, systems as well. So if you, you're familiar with IT systems, they're not going and necessarily programming each room and going from room to room to, uh, to, to deploy these things. They're literally going in, plugging those devices into the network and then pushing down the, the configuration files, pushing down firmware, doing patches, whatever has to happen, they're doing from a centralized system. So that holds true across the Crestron portfolio. And, and it saves time for not only the end user, but for the integrator as well, because in, in a lot of cases that takes a lot of programming off of their plate. Absolutely. Um, Web-based configuration with no programming is becoming bigger and bigger. And if we look at the way the AV industry has progressed, it used to be you'd have one or two rooms in, in a building that had technology, and now we see 50, 100, sometimes thousands of rooms across global enterprises, and we have to we have to be cognizant of that, and we have to deploy systems in a very similar way, actually the same way that the IT industry does. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to seeing what Crestron does, and especially what they do with HD Base T moving forward. Josh Steen from Crestron, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Hope to see you all at our stand.